And my friends, we export French knickers to France. French knickers made in this country. He mentions bananas. It is absurd that we are told that you cannot have, but you cannot sell bananas in bunches of more than two or three bananas. You cannot, you cannot yes. sell bananas with abnormal curvature of the fingers. Kipper. This kipper, which has been presented to me by, just now by the editor of a national newspaper, who received it from a kipper smoker in the Isle of Man, who is utterly furious because after decades of sending kippers like this through the post, he has had his costs massively increased by Brussels bureaucrats who have insisted that each kipper must be accompanied by a, this, a plastic ice pillow. The sale of products from food business operator to the final consumer is not covered by the EU legislation on food hygiene. So this means that the case described uh, by Mr. Uh, Johnson falls outside uh, the scope of the EU legislation and it's purely a UK uh, national competence. I want a world in which uh, we send you Marmite, you send us Vegemite, we send you penguins, and uh, you send us, uh, with reduced tariffs, these wonderful Arnott's Tim Tams. How long can the British people be deprived of the opportunity to uh, have uh, Arnott's Tim Tams at uh, a reasonable price? <laughs> and what about your other bluster blunders, Mr. Johnson? Your garden bridge blunder. Your empty cable car blunder. Your water cannons blunder. Your Boris bikes blunder. Your Olympic mega sculpture blunder. Your stadium deal blunder. Your housing crisis blunder. Your failure to manage COVID-19. Your failure to go into lockdown sooner. Your failure to organize proper test and trace facilities. Your failure to honor your oven ready deal. And your failure to admit your failures. What incompetence, what failure of governance. How dare he try and blame everyone else? There's only one person responsible for it, and that's him. This is his deal, it's his mess, it's his failure. And who will clear up the chaos caused by the Conservatives? Is this government asking you, uh, the people, the public, to do one thing, while senior people here in government do something else? Have we been asking you to make sacrifices to obey social distancing, uh, stay at home, while some people have been basically flouting those rules and endangering lives? And it's because I take this matter so seriously, and frankly, it is so serious, that I can tell you today, I've had extensive face-to-face -face conversations with Dominic Cummings, and I've concluded that in traveling to find the right kind of childcare, at the moment when both he and his wife were about to be incapacitated by coronavirus, and when he had no alternative, I think he followed the instincts of every father and every parent, and I do not mark him down for that. And though there have been many other allegations about what happened when he was in self-isolation and thereafter, some of them palpably false, I believe that in every respect, 
he has acted responsibly and legally and with integrity. Prime Minister, are you expecting millions of people around the country to believe that Dominic Cummings needed to take a 60 mile round trip to a local beauty spot with his wife and child just to test his eyesight? On the point about eyesight, I, I might just say I'm, I'm finding I have to wear spectacles for the first time in, uh, in, in years because of, uh, I, I think, because of the effects of this thing. So I'm, I'm inclined to think there's some, uh, some I think that, that's very, very plausible that there's a that, that eyesight can be a problem associated with, uh, with coronavirus.